building a new railway under London, which just means that there's a whole host of other factors you need to take into account while building it. That's from the, the neighbourhood we're in, which is Mayfair, a very uh, exclusive area, lots of high-end, expensive properties around the area, and we're trying to build a very large station underneath that. That, that gives huge challenges and it's very exciting to try and overcome them. It was a computer controlled system which used lasers to measure the buildings around the area. And if we did detect any movement, we could correct that movement with what was known as compensation grouting. So that allowed us to uh, jack up the ground, say five millimetres, and then it would settle 10 millimetres and we'd have a net movement of five, which is perfectly acceptable and minimises any potential damage to buildings around the area. This is not going to be the final uh, architectural cladding though, this is the structural. The plan is to have on the, the left side some platform edge screens which are going to be glass doors. Uh, they will protect the public from passing trains. We will have white glass reinforced concrete cladding. So it will look like concrete but it's actually very lightweight. This will be throughout the station and it, fo it follows a very clean line. It's going to be throughout the whole line uh, in this white thing so you know you're on the crossrail line or the Elizabeth line as it's to be known. Since we started you've seen the, the areas developing as people anticipate the station opening. I think on Hanover Square there's at least two related construction projects where they're redeveloping 1960s style office buildings into brand new modern ones. Uh, We've, we've had one completed in the time I've been here as well. So to, to do that and know that they're doing it because of our project is, is very satisfying. 